Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the day 8 of the service portal training. In this training, we will talk about the widget options. So last few, uh, last day we talked about that widget reusability, using the reusability, what all field we can include. Today, it's pretty much similar kind of topic, but we will talk, talk about that how extra um, features that can enable by using the widget um, uh, options. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if you see here right now, already seen that in the last video, this record details is that incident, uh, I mean one widgets and the same widget we are using in this left side and right side and both the widgets are behaving little different. They are getting the incident details in the left side and the right side we are getting the change details and from how we are getting those details because we are uh, passing this value as a um, instance parameterized uh, option. So. Uh, how we are doing we just click right click and go to the widget editor and then from the widget editor um, if we go back to the, our platform and then in inside the platform if I scroll down there is a uh, field called uh, data table under the data table we are selected the recipe instance tables and we are collecting the fields now here is the requirement why we need that additional op um, option so let's say that in the incident details i need to uh two color one is that this incident details color will be the left side will be red and the right side will be green this this one will be a different color and then this one will be different color so total four color will be we are going to apply for the title this one will be different for this one will be different uh, i mean basically the, the combination will be different now if we go back to the data uh, record details we don't have such uh options where we can put all these details let's say that if we want to put any additional field which is not available let's say right now we do have active field application bootstrap size but in case we don't need we don't have that any field called title uh, color we don't have anything called you know, short description color anything that we needed actually it's not available so how we can add or we can include that extra options for the widget so so for that what we have to do we have to go back to the widget and under this widget if you click the hamburger icon we have a options called edit option schema once you click the edit option schema if there is a already one um, um, options is available there the, um, this will be a little bit different but if there is no options available the screen will be like this one so we have to click plus sign and here once you click the plus sign you will be able to see this complete uh, detail so let's say we will put some additional information so very first thing is that the tile label will say that um, you know title color so this might be our uh, label once we shift to the name automatically it's uh, automatically it's generate that name so what we have to do here we have we can select the type so various types we have so I'm just going to select the string at that moment hint you can define any hint uh, for the developer for next future developer so you can say that um, color code like uh, black something like that okay and then this is the default value so if you want to put on to the default value you can if you want to put some default value you can define that and then we have uh, you know sections on which section we want to show that we do have the behavior data presentation and other sections so these four sections will be available so basically if you click control and instance option you already able to see the two sections were there during that uh, instance options we do have the data sections we do have the presentation sections uh, we can add any of these um these option to any of these uh you know uh, uh sections so we'll say that presentation sections and this is the one uh, title color and then another title color I am going to put that let's say that I am going to put that um, label called a uh, short short description color something like that so you can define any kind of any um, uh, uh, type of field so this is the also the same thing and this will be also present to the presentation section so that's it two options are just saved so I just click the save button and I just need to be save these widgets once I save that um, let's refresh that first this page so wherever this page is actually added 
and now uh, once we add it once we refresh this one and if i right click on that incident details and incident options so previously the date uh, the whatever options were there uh, that is already there along with that there are two more options which is available called title color and sd color so these two options are new options which is available right now Pre whatever pre options previously it was available so it is already there we added two options which is not directly fetching from these um you know here from this data table or fields it is not directly fetching that these are the additional option schema so if i refresh that um you can see that in inside that once we added these options or once we added this option schema the code is little bit changes or the widget little bit diff, uh, changes there is a one more field called option schema and then option schema automatically generate a json and which is holding the json and this option schema is actually uh, added when we modify that from the ui through this uh, widget editor ui so when whatever field name whatever type we have selected automatically set to the option schema so this way we can set any widgets options and that enable us a extra uh, fields that we can use now it's high time to update our widget so let's refresh first the widget two way we can uh, you i mean uh, use that option so very first thing is that what we can use that data dot uh, title color maybe i am saying the title color so this is the one data dot title color and here i am saying that options dot uh, then options name i have to put the options name so title color options name so this is the uh, you know uh, the label is the title color and the name is the title color so this is the name i have to be collect from there and paste here so one way that to receive this options value we have to use the options then we need to put the options name and that options i am binding to the data dot title color one of the variable i am binding here and then what i'll do i'll write here code call color so let's say i'll write the style equal to color and inside the color i will put that that value called uh you know title dot underscore color and simply save that so this is the one way we can use that let's save and see it is working uh, as per our expected or not so once we save that let's refresh our um code or refresh our page here we need to update our um, options so very first thing is that i for the incident i will say that instance option and here title color i'll say that um, blue it's already there i'll save that and here i will say that uh, it should be green something like that i'll say that green and save that now you can see that all these changes are updated now it should automatically reflect the color but not sure why it is not um updating the color so let's refresh that still this color is not changing why if i go back to these widgets so we have to use the data dot title color so so this is the data dot title color which i mean data dot uh title and data dot title color we are binding so we have to use the data dot title color and then once we save that and let's refresh our page so you can see both the color are changed so uh, the only the one way is that you can directly get these options to our uh, title dot color using the title dot color and once you get that you bind with the data dot title color that is the one options other option is that you can directly use this options dot title color here to get that so let's do that so i will say the style dot uh, you know style equal to i'll say that color and this time i will use that uh, you know that options directly that options and then we have created one more field called sd color for uh, you know the name is sd color for the short description color so i'll copy that and paste here and simply save that so you the two options you can directly you can go to the server side you can bind to the data dot then variable or else you can directly access with the options dot then we can directly use that uh, that options name now let's time to update uh, refresh our page and uh, add some parameter so here 
I'll click here instance option. Maybe I'll say that red. So this color. Once we save that, uh, if I cross, uh, I mean, click cancel that you can see this color is automatically reflect with the red, uh, red color. So we don't need to refresh even. So after saving that even you can refresh that the color and everything will be remain as it is. So you can see uh, we have option schema, two option schema. And here you can, if you want to uh, add different color, definitely you can right click and uh, instance options. And let's say that I'll select that yellow color here and save that. So in this way, you can create your, you can use that option schema using the option schema. You can create as many as options you needed. Already you have a data table options where you can get multiple fields. If the fields is not available, you can directly, uh, I mean, use for particular widget, you can directly, you know, uh, right click and, you know, um, uh, edit option scheme and create options, whatever options you needed, and then widget will be uh, behave dynamically. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.